afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our live interview of astronauts. I'm Lydia Jackson, reporting to you from NASA headquarters. First, we will be interviewing Mrs. Smith from South Dakota. Welcome, Ms. Smith. And how are you doing today? I am doing very well, dear, but please call me Granny Smith. It makes me sound old if you call me Miss Smith. Okay, let's go ahead and start your interview, Granny Smith. First, we have to see if you will fit in the shuttle. Stand up, please. Oh. Five foot exactly. Uh -huh. Oh, God. No, I'm very sorry, but you are just a little bit too <laughs> short, and you need to be between five two and six three inches. Does it really matter if I'm two inches too short? Unfortunately, yes, because you need to be able to fit into the space shuttle <laughs> and reach things like equipment. Next, we have Lauren Martin. How are you doing, Lauren? I'm doing fine today, but I do have kind of a headache, so that's kind of a bummer, but I'm very excited to be here today. I am sorry to hear that. First of all, I have to measure you. Five, seven. Perfect. All right now. That's just wonderful, isn't it? <clears throat> now, I will ask you a few questions. Are you a citizen of the United States? Yes, I am. Have you had 1,000 hours of pilot in command flying time? Well, not exactly. So I've only had 500 hours of pilot in command time. I'm just very sorry, but you have to have 1,000 hours. All right. Well, following Lauren, we have Tori. I'm sorry, Tori, but I cannot pronounce your last name. That okay. Many people do not. So Tori, first I have to measure you. Five, three. Very good. Oh, Tori, um, I have to ask you a question. Are you an American citizen? No, I am a Japanese citizen. I'm very sorry, but you have to be an American citizen to be an astronaut. This rule does not seem very fair to me, so I would recommend ta contacting NASA and asking them to change the rule, or you could join a Japanese space program. That is okay. Jordan River is next. Everybody. Oh, it's only you. Why are you wearing a dress? I mean, it's not like you are on TV or anything. As a matter of fact, we are on TV. Oh, hi everybody. Hi mom. Hi dad. Text me if you're watching, okay? Jordan, if you'll please put your phone away, we can begin your interview. Jordan. <laughs> if you put your phone away, we can please begin your interview. Just a second, I need, to, <laughs> I need to check if anyone has seen me on TV yet. Jordan, what is your favorite subject that you were taught in school? I hate school. It's too much work and like you have to work too hard. So like, what's the point? Jordan, you may leave now. NASA requires astronauts to have good group work skills and a love of learning. That's not fair. All astronauts do is walk on the moon. Now, we will have a trivia question before we finish interviewing the last two people. Now, for the trivia question, what does the word astronaut mean? We will answer that question at the end of today's interviews. Next, we have James Anderson. Good afternoon, James. We will start off by asking you a few questions. Are you a citizen of the United States? Yes, I am. Very good. Have you had 1,000 hours of pilot and command flying time? Yep. Do you have a bachelor's degree in math, science, engineering, bio biological science, or physical science? No, I do not have a bachelor's degree because I did not realize the, uh, that astronauts needed a bachelor's degree. Finally, last but not least, we have Leah Moore. Okay, that's fine with me. Do you have your bachelor's degree in science, math, bio biological science, engineering, or physical science? Yeah, I have a bachelor's degree in math. Good. Are you a citizen of the United States? Um, yes. 
I was born in Virginia. Have you had 1,000 hours of pilot and command flying hours? Yes. Now let's measure you. Six one. That's very good. Did you enjoy school? I did not always like my teachers, but I look forward to learning new things. Did you like working with other people or do you prefer to work alone? I do enjoy working with other people. Congratulations, you have qualified to be an, a NASA astronaut. Really? <laughs> this has been my dream since I was five years old. Hey, five. <laughs> now, for the trivia question. I hope you have been looking for the answer. The word astronaut means space sailor. Thank you. Thank you all for watching this, and I hope you can join us again for our next interviews. By the way, the date of our next interviews depends on whether or not NASA needs more astronauts.